Ah, Christmas lights. Traditional old Tungsten Christmas lights. And this is a set of 20 12 volt lamps connected across 240 volts. <clears throat> and it comes from Poundland, which is uh, nice. And I noticed uh, that it says in the instructions, this lighting chain must not be electrically connected to any other chain. Really? How do you even... How do you even... Oh well. Challenge accepted. Right here. So let's electrically connect this set into this set. Do not remove label. All right, okay, the labels come off for a start. Oh, I think that I think the labels already get me beat here. Ah, there we go. Horrible things these labels. Right, so what I'm going to do here, this uh, set of lights is currently drawing 17.6 watts. And the current is 71 milliamps. And I'm going to connect some lights in series with this. I'm going to extend this from 20 lamps to say 30. So I'm going to take um, this set and sort of open it up a bit. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh. Oh, they're tangled up already. Ten. Okay. So that's the ten lights we're going to piece in. I'll just double check I've got my full ten here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that'll do. And I'm going to uh, take the lamp out and then these uh, this, these are push-in lamps and it's quite clever how they're, they're actually held in together. I, I was just about to push this in while I was holding it. That's not a good idea. That's a good way to stab yourself. But what you want to do is, in most instances, you want to try and push them out from the back and when you press oop, the insert with the contacts comes out and it's, it's a clever design. It not only holds the contacts in but it self-locks on the wires. You can see where they've gripped against the side. So, I want to unleash one of these wires. Now, which is uh, that one? There it is, I think. So I want to just slip that one up the way. Ooh, blimey, it's locked in well. Oh, blimey, it really is locked in well. Which is good. There we are. Brute force wins the day. And I want to do the same with this one at this end. So I've basically taken out a section of ten lights. And this time it will be the main side that I'm taking out, so it will be this one, this contact here. Oh, that really does grip well. That's very good. There we go. Right. So I'll just put that stuff out of the way. And I'll do something with this after. Um, <coughs> now, we want to get this set of lights. And the first lamp we come across, I'll just uh, take the lamp out and push that insert out. And I want to pull this one out of here. Okay, that looks pretty good. And this one will now go in through this end. And I shall just stuff this up here. Hook it in there. Pull it down so it locks in snugly. And then I shall shove that in. And as, as it's pulled back, it sort of seats itself. I don't know the best way to put these back in. I don't know if it's just brute force. The, yeah, shoving a lamp in does the job nicely. Maybe that's how they do it in the factory. And then this one yeah, it goes in to join the two sets together. So this has gone up here. This one hooks into this position and pulls down so it catches. 
uh, the cover goes up and a lamp goes in to push that down again. Nicely done. So now, theoretically, actually I've got two fuse lamps in there, I don't really need two fuse lamps, we'll talk about the fuse lamps later. So that's now, that's now got 30 lamps in series, which means they glow a lot dimmer. I could have probably done with much less than that, but the life span of these lamps will be considerably higher now because originally they were getting uh, 240 volts divided by 20 lamps is 12 volts. Now they're getting 240 volts divided by 30 lamps and that means they're getting 8 volts each and it's still it's a nice warm glow. The current has dropped to 0.56. You might have thought it might, would have dropped further, but uh, there's a bit of science behind that I'll go into uh, later. Uh, I'll maybe do that in another video. And the wattage has dropped to 8.3 watts. It's considerably dropped. So, um, yep, that's a, a nice enough result. So, what about the... What about these ones, then? Hmm. I think I'll make a very tiny set of extremely bright lamps that probably won't last very long. So this time I'm going to find the end that I disconnected and I'm going to bypass the ten lamps that were in there before. So this means there's going to be uh, pull that down, there's going to be ten lamps, ten 12 volt lamps, the total voltage of 120 volts across 240 volts and I think we can safely say that that's not going to end very well. So this is a fuse bulb, this is probably a good thing. And I'm not going to plug this into the power meter because I don't particularly wish to blow my power meter up. So this is going to be very bright. Oh, the fuse lamp did its job. Oh well. What happens if you put a non-fuse lamp in? And this is where the lights to the whole house could go out the loud bang. Oh, they're very bright. How long will they last? Oh, blame me, they're lasting quite well. Am I going to have to go smaller than this? Am I going to have to... Let's see what the power is. I'm kind of disappointed actually, I thought they were going to blow up. Plenty of time for that though. 27 watts. At 112 milliamps, that's not huge. Okay, let's uh... Let's increase the violin, shall we? Let's remove a couple more lamps out of the circuit. Uh, shall we remove another three so there's only eight lamps in the circuit? Yes, that sounds good enough. This is going to end in tears at some point. So, I want to remove that one there. Yeah. God, they really do. They do latch in really well. As they're designed to do. Ah, get out. I'm going to take that one out, and then we're going to take the mains end of it. Have I just have I removed... I've actually just removed two here, haven't I? Oh, that's a good start. So we've got the mains lead coming in. Now, do I want to just step this along a bit? I, I do, don't I? One, two, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I want to take another one out. Let's see if we can accelerate the carnage. 
So this will be seven lamps across 240 volts, giving 240 divided by seven, 34 volts. That's approaching three times the voltage of the lamps. So I should hope they wouldn't last too long at that. What's the worst could happen? Deep down, secretly I'm hoping for carnage. Whole house combustion not included. Okie dokie. How long are they going to last? Let's plug them in and find out. Oh, they're very bright. Oh, and they're lasting well. Oh, oh, that was much faster than expected. Now, is that blowing the fuse in the plug? No, the fuse in the plug is, plug is actually still intact. It's actually blown all these lamps inside. They've gone very sooty. Um, oh, that's interesting. Slightly disappointed. I, hope, I hoped it was going to be a wee bit more spectacular than that. I think it has blown all the lamps. I'm not 100% sure. I thought it was going to go more dramatically. Oh, I'm always disappointed. But anyway, I have another video, which I'm just about to record, which goes into this... The science of these lamps, uh, and there's a lot of science involved, and why, when one blows, theoretically the other should stay lit, but uh, that didn't happen either that, or as soon as one blew, it, it triggered a sort of chain reaction, and I can see things have really splattered inside that one, and the other ones have all gone very sooty and did so very quickly, so I think it's caused a chain reaction, I think these lamps are effectively blown absolutely open circuit now. Um, but anyway, I shall stop the video there and uh, record the next video, which will be quite interesting. You wouldn't think there's a lot of science in Christmas lights, but the just ordinary tongues and lights, there's a lot of science involved.